Hello everybody! Welcome to another Flash CS4 tutorial brought to you by Adapa Flash Building. In this one, I'm going to show you how to make randomized dynamic content display on your home page or any page on your Flash website or in your Flash applications, banners, what have you. So that way it doesn't seem stale and it's always changing for the visitors. If they happen to frequent your content, then it won't be so stale looking all the time it'll always be ever changing and that will be nice make you look more intelligent okay so we showed in uh, right before this upload I uploaded a tutorial for develop PHP not develop PHP but PHP and it is at develop PHP but it's PHP and HTML based randomized dynamic content tutorial just right before this and I mentioned that I would show it for Flash Action Script 3. So here we are in Adobe Flash CS4 Professional. Let's create a new Action Script 3 file. Beautiful. Okay, so now what we'll do is go to. Now let's just bring in a rectangle. Rectangle primitive. Let's draw it right there. It's going to be our little handle. Handles are handy, I'm going to show you why. And a lot of you guys probably have this problem and you haven't figured out how to make yourself handles yet for your empty on frame one movie clips. Okay, so let's go ahead and right click that, convert to symbol, movie clip, let's call it my random content. And this can be anywhere in your flash file. Let's make it registration top left OK. Now, that little thing can be dragged, copied and pasted, whatever, into any flash files that are Action Script 3. So let's double click inside of that now and let's build its timeline here. Let's create a new layer. And this new layer we're going to name by double clicking that, name it AS3 for Action Script 3. You create new layers by hitting the little new layer thing thing there. Now, on that layer, let's highlight that frame and press F9, open the actions panel. And I'm going to pop in the little code that's going to make this happen. And there it is. I'll explain that in a moment. Sit tight. And that's all it is. What is it, four lines? Beautiful. Okay, so now what we'll do is this layer we're gonna double click that name here and name it handle <clears throat> now let me explain the handle to you it's a very handy thing when you have a file like we're going to have here that has no content on frame one maybe your content starts on frame two or somewhere down in the timeline other than frame one maybe there's no content on frame one and that's a common thing in flash movie clips is to have no content on frame one due to animations uh... what you do is create yourself a little handle just a little rectangle give it its own little layer and then once you're back in the the main timeline you'll see that little handle is always there for you to move grab identify where it is double click to get inside of it yada 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 it's very handy and uh... a lot of the times you have to go searching for a little dot you know you can't even see it until you highlight the dot or highlight the layer it's very frustrating sometimes so you make yourself a little handle I just wanted to take time to explain that because it's a very handy thing when you work in flash alright now we have our handle we have our action script 3 let's make a new layer above handle and let's call it content this is my content layer and on my content layer I'm going to have a keyframe on frame 2 so let's make a keyframe frame 2 by pressing F6 highlight frame 2 F6 now we have a new keyframe alright let's leave handle only on frame 1 that's all we need it there for action script 3 can be just that one frame that's fine too so our content will build through here so on frame 1 let's add some content and then we'll show you how to change it up with that random number script so it'll always be randomized uh, when people every time people refresh it or access the file it'll always have a different appearance okay so let's start 
placing different content. Let's highlight that frame. Let's lock the action script layer and the handle layer so we don't accidentally put anything on those layers. Let's click text tool and let's type in let's call it flash AS3 okie dokie make it not so big a little bit smaller okay so let's pop it right there center aligned that's great static text and it's important to note that on each one of these layers you can run any uh, scripts that you like to bring in dynamic content if you like but I'm just going to show you how to place the content in that will be randomized for display but each keyframe here can have different scripts brought in or call content from different uh, dynamic external content if you want you can call that in using scripts on each keyframe if you like okay so there's our text and let's bring in a little picture here I have in fireworks little icons and I'm going to set up right here on the same layer control V so I press control C to copy from fireworks control V place it here in flash CS4 it's going to import it as a movie clip straight into the stage area any day now I don't know man flash CS3 flies flash CS4 is like slow it's very slow okay so sometimes it is sometimes it flies too alright so as movie clip in current that's good alrighty there we go Actually, let's make this thing not so big. I'm going to change the size of my file to from 550, 400 to maybe only 200, 100. That's a little too small. Maybe 300, 150. Okie dokie. All right, so there's the image there's the text. Now I'm going to create a new keyframe on frame 3 by pressing F6. I'm going to change this content up. <clears throat> Let's call this one Dreamweaver. And then let's control X, get that off of there. Highlight it, press control X, go into it, grab the Dreamweaver icon. Control V on that same layer so now you can see your content will be and you can make sure it's in the same position if you like I'm not gonna worry too much about it so you can see the content can be changing and this little script is gonna make it pop around and jump around from different keyframes here that we assign so I'm gonna place more content in there and then we'll wrap this thing up okay so I have all of my content in there and let's take a look at the script first let's count the frames we have all the way up to eight so that means we have seven frames of content we got fireworks after effects photoshop sound booth illustrator dreamweaver and flash so seven frames is what we need to randomize between so let's place that right here <coughs> there we go and now let's press control enter see what happens alright let's press control enter again it's different see sound booth fireworks photoshop each time your file is opened or accessed in a browser or somebody refreshes it it'll show new content never stale always new and it can be all different types of content not themed like mine is all themed out in the Adobe products here and if you want to have a content layer that goes all the way through like say you just go down to the handle layer and press new layer here put one above that and on that layer you put your content 
let's call it my tools Make it a little bit smaller a little blacker and bring it down there my tools randomized now let's press control enter control enter you see my tools randomized stays the whole time you can even get it off of that frame one it doesn't need to be there really or you can keep it there okie dokie now let's take a look at the script it's very easy first we put a stop action because we don't want the this movie clip to just play its timeline or else it'll just keep flipping through all that spastically so we make it stop on frame one and then we set a random number variable and this is from I have a tutorial on creating a random number generator with this one line of code and that's what this does so it'll go from one through say you want it to be fifty this would make a random number between one and fifty we want between one and seven so what we do is we attain a random number between one and seven using this line of code and then we fix the frame offset because there's nothing on frame one so we don't really want it snapping and just a little FYI here I wanted to pop in that you can not use this fixed frame variable and just make this a two it works the same but I just wanted to lay all the lines out so you see the logic of what was happening behind what was happening and instead of fixed frame we go to random num so that way you can have it working off of two lines a little more slim see it still works just fine control enter control enter it's going to be between two and eight still make a new variable with this random number that was attained here in this line we make a new variable by uh, just using addition on it and saying plus one and that will make sure it is only frames two through eight make sense good because that's how it works so we have seven frames of content we claim here in this line and we make sure it's only two through eight by adjusting and fixing the frame offset so we say last line very simply go to and stop fixed frame and that will make it snap to whatever random number frame and it won't be outside of these bounds from frame 2 to frame 8 it will never be frame 9 and on and it will never be frame 1 okie dokie press control enter yep. control enter always different sometimes it might be the same if the same random number happens to come up twice that's no biggie and I'm actually running this at develop PHP on my home page at develop PHP here you can see it performing right before your eyes right here with this little guy every time you refresh see it says something new so I just figured I would share and this file will be free available for download okay we'll see you next lesson